Hello everybody and welcome back to Lost Souls. My plan for today was I was going to go and do the treasure hunt or start the treasure hunt. But I haven't got enough time to do that today, unfortunately. But I've got something else interesting. As you can see, I've got the Dank Null and I've upgraded that to a tier 6 one. And in this bag here, I've got sort of, it's a backup bag or an emergency bag. So I've got a spare set of armour in it, I've got a, uh, another bow with some Doom arrows, another climbing glove, another shuriken. This basically, when I'd go on the treasure hunt, if I get killed, I've got some essential things with me, like an, another jetpack. I built another jetpack, but only this one's a hardened. So I reckon that would be good enough. And also, let's just take my thing here and put it in here temporarily, the handy bag, and have a look at my levels. I've leveled up everything to max now, so. I don't need to worry about that anymore. There shouldn't be anything we can't do, which is great. So, let's get that out of there again, actually, and put it back, because it's got all sorts of useful things in here. And I have actually prepared this one. So, in here, this is my sort of everyday toolkit card. And that's that one. And this one here, this one card, I've got what I was going to take with me on the trip. So, I've got some sharpening kits, some mega torches some food but this has got really good saturation these cooked bugs some bread and some return scrolls if you need to get back to base very quickly a warp stone if you're not so rushed a waste stone so you can put some weight a couple of waste stones down some storage and a jetpack and i built a hammer as i think we did last time and some an emerald pickaxe and they've got some bits and pieces in here so golden lassoes in case i see any of those uh, sheep and a curse us if I ever get lucky and get a, a ghast <laughs> and some drops of evil so that's basically my stuff I also prepared some nature seeds some dirt seeds and some base crafting seeds I, which we I don't want to do the recipes with you because it's fairly dull and it's just exactly they're all the same really let's have a look at that one I've got one set up here that's the last of the ones a stone seed so that actually should finish the quest, tier 1 seeds. In fact, let's have a look at the quest. Um, it's a bit awkward this one, it's down the bottom, magical crops. So I've completed some quests, we've completed this one now. So let's claim the loot chest. We've completed a tier 3 Inferium seeds. We've completed su Superium essence. They're all fairly straightforward, all the same, They're basically all doing, and I even created Superium Essence. And a tier 4 Inferium Seed. Done. What else have we got? We got the Solium Dagger, which we did as well. So we've got a load of loot chests. And that's, right. that's everything for that at the moment. I would like to do a Master Infusion Crystal. And actually, it's more worth doing that one. I think I'll do that because we can get some superior methods, 12 of them, for the cost of eight. This takes eight. And I might even got that prepared. Let's have a look at that. This is basically the unbreakable version. I was also looking at the charms in here as well. Because that's something that I think is on the, on, the, on the things to do with that particular mod. So we want this one. So it's actually, we need four superior essences to do this. And we can do one. Now this is unbreakable. My inventory is full. Oh dear. Before so let's just clear away some of my inventory stuff. Um, and this has got pumpkin in here. Let's put the pumpkin out of the way. What else? I've got some dyes in here. Let's put the dyes. I'll put them in this chest, I think. Yeah, the dyes. I moved those around. I've got a bit, some dry rubber, which I'll put in there as well. And I think that's probably about it. Well, we've got soul stone in here. Uh, I think we could put that over here. I guess I dropped, I thought I'd be losing tr rewards. Don't want to lose those, do we? Even though we know they're going to be fairly useless. <laughs> right, there's still something can go in there like that. In fact, I might as well open up. Tell you what we'll do. Let's clear my inventory off completely. Control space click and control shift click these down and let's, let's have a look at what we've actually got in these today. Okay, some XP stuff, very good. 
some chameleon storage. I don't, you know, I have not actually used that. I don't know what it's for. Some medikits. Oh, lots of that again. So that'll have filled up my inventory, I guess. And the rest of it's in here, isn't it? Let's just push these into here like that. 12 diamonds. Oh, that's not too bad, really. It might be three. <laughs> Shurikens around. Um, what else have we got? Last one. I'm hoping for hearts, but of course I'm not going to get them. Oh, I've got some storage upgrades. That's actually not too bad. Let's put those away in here. Actually, the last one's probably the, but the best of the ones we've done, isn't it? That's why I keep those. In fact, I've got the medikits in there as well, so get rid of these. And the comedian storage. And we'll put the... I don't know what I'm doing with all these XP things, to be honest with you. Let's put them in here for the time being. Oh, look, some XP in there. And I've got these in another chest. Let's go and put those together. I think they go in here. Yes, they do. I've got six of them now. XP pylons. So we can do this master infusion stone. And we can claim the quest. Yep. So let's claim this one since it's a choice reward. Oh, it's an item reward to get all of them. Fantastic. Oh, that's actually, a, that's actually a pretty good one. I hadn't realised. So let's open up this chest. Now a piston one, which is actually quite nice. Some melons, which I could have done with before, but uh, there we go. Some a compact machine walls, that's actually not too bad. We've got to do some compact machines at some stage. And an efficiency 5 and an anvil, which is actually also not too bad. I'm not disappointed with those. I've already got four efficiency 5 books, but let's put the other one up here like that. And the anvil will go and put it over here, because it's gonna, this one I reckon is going to break for slightly damaged. So that's not going to break too soon. Put it in here. I'm not, I've got two anvils in there, because I'm not sure I'm keeping the compact machine was but I put it in there with I put these into there for the time being. And we'll put the other stuff away. Probably in this chest here. Yeah, fantastic. So So now we can actually make our first tier five crafting seed. But I've already done it. So that gives us a nice stack of 18 of these they, each one of these costs 4 stack of Inferium so it takes quite a lot of building these things do and I don't need that with me but this is an unbreakable version the use is left unlimited where the use is left here of 326 I don't think it's got any crafting uses in this one except as a crafting component it says we can enchant it oh what's that say unbreaking 1, 2 Mending that would actually not be to be cursed of the vanishing. I have no I <laughs> and venom, I reckon that's a poisonous type thing. Interesting enchant. I wonder what that does. And it actually tells you here. And I don't know what the curse of vanishing is for an enchant either, so we are. So let's go back and get our stuff from in in here. In fact, I'm going to put these seeds somewhere else for the time being. Let's put them into here. Put the inferior essence. Now I've got some inferior ingots. I know what those were for. They were for another one. That's why I was looking at the um, this. There's another quest to this tinkering table. Let's go and do that. As you'll see, I've got the bits in here for that already prepared. So this is a quest, I'm just using the inferior ingots, and what this does, this allows you to put charms, those charms I was looking at, onto tools. So we've now got Tinkering Table done, let's go get that one claimed as well. Done. So that's that one, and it did want the inferior type of material, so let's do that. Choice Reward, ah, good one. You know, I'm going to take... These are probably better. They couldn't, these ones, they usually end up in death and destruction, but let's just take that one done. Tinkering table, let's have a look at this loot chest. You never know, I get a heart. 
might not do. And I got some Inferium Essence and the Inferium Paxel. Shame I can't use that for claiming the quest, but never mind. Let's put that in there. So this is a, a mechanism for improving tools. Let's just put that in somewhere. Where shall I put this for the time being? I don't seem to have much space in the base at the moment. Let's put it down there. That's sort of a good sort of place to do it. Oh yeah, different interface, not one I've not seen before. In fact, I've got a thing in here. I also created this large memory chest from Indie Utilities. I'm not sure if it's anything very special. It's not a fairly straightforward recipe anyway. So now, the inferior impact is unlikely to use. It's got some type damage which isn't bad. And I don't know whether it's got any special properties or not, so I can put that away up here. Sort of a place I put these at the moment. I think I've got some more in a different place. So what I want to do today, other than fix something I broke last week, well, I didn't do it right actually to be honest with you. And I was looking at it asking, that's not right. It doesn't look right at all. And that's these. And I was looking around the side of here, so I was watching my videos go, oh, that looks like that should connect to there. Fairly straightforward fix. If I'm not mistaken, let's get the right card into place. Just take my engineer's hammer and right click these things. So it connects. And this one probably stick around twice, three times. Oh, I'm just throwing some. There you go. And that looks, a little, that looks a little bit better, doesn't it? I don't think you see anything on the user interface here to actually indicate it's better, but I think it goes faster. Anyway. Do what we do. Let's swap that one over. Make sure I'm not throwing shurikens all over the base. So yeah, what I want to do is some automation. Actually, automation's my sort of favourite bit. And thank you very much, Bob the Big Bat. He told me I had to put have some bit of space around this thing, which is quite obvious. Actually, Maliko also said I could don't have to put a sludge um, a sludge refinery here. I could put a, a chest. A trash can, fluid trash can, just pump the sludge straight out. Uh, in fact, what have we got in here at the moment? We've got, it's not too bad the stuff you get out of here, but we've seen that before. You don't get lots of it, but you get some. Pod seal is probably a bit of a pain to make. I'm not sure what the recipe for pod seal is. Yeah, it's not the easiest to coarse dirt. Rich phyto growth, that's a bit of a pain. So that's actually quite good. So what I want to do is to automate this and I've got everything I need in here to automate this I hope as you can see what have we got in here right oh, that's just water essence don't care about that we've got some servos we've got eight item ducts one fluid duct we've got an analog crafter a tank porcelain well some fluid storage and then the chest which I don't really need a bucket um actually I need two buckets well I've got one one with water in and one with that and a mechanical user. So what we're going to do, so we start, basically what we've got to get is water. We need to put water into this. Now, if I'm not mistaken, water connects, I think at the back or at the front. If I'm not mistaken, let's just check it. Easy way to check it. Let's take a, a fluid duct here and put it down at the front like this. If it connects in, then it's going to connect in. That's great. So, let's have a look at this thing. It's got water in already, and it's got fertiliser in, but it's also full of mist inferior essence. <laughs> we'll leave that in there for the time being. So what we need to do is, I want to put a tank in front of that. So I've got this porcelain gauge here, like that. It's just a fairly cheap tank, nothing special about it. So what we've got to do with this now, is what I want to do is I want to use a mechanical user on that, and I think the only place I do is the mechanical user is on this side like this. And I'm going to hit, use the mechanical user to put a bucket on here. So let's put this down. Probably going to go down wrong as it is. I actually can use the ordinary wrench, can't I? Like that. So in this, we're going to put a bucket of water. Like that. It always does that first time. Don't ask me why. It sort of throws it away. It should have gone in right click into here. Maybe a generic click. I think 
what I want to do is use activate block with item so then we need to get into this buckets of water so the way I was doing that is to put down a crafter so I've got an analog crafter here like that. and I think this is where I want to put it so in here you've got a sticky and you've got a spread items well we're going to use sticky and we're also going to use spread items and what I want to do is I'm going to turn off these here like that so they become inaccessible and I want this one to come in from the top which is the upside only so for example what I'm going to use is the essence let's look at the uses of this stuff here so we can do, we're going to do this we're going to put buckets of empty buckets in the top spread around some water essence and fill up a bucket of water and then send the bucket of water off to the uh, mechanical user which is then going to right click this to fill it up basically that's the principle so first of all we need empty buckets so the empty buckets are going to come out of the top of this like this so we'll click it on there and click it on I need to come across like this like that so empty buckets are going to come out of here oops I didn't want that one let's just take it off like that obviously we need to then pump the water we'll do that in, we'll do that at the end so the empty buckets are going to come out of here so what I'll do is I'll remove this don't need the dagger with me actually I want the servos mostly so we're basically going to put into this here we're going to put a filter so we want a whitelist of a bucket like that when it's whitelisted it's going to get sent out so we're going to turn that on so then only only empty buckets are going to come into the top of this okay now in here we should have some water essence in fact I've got water essence on me so what we're going to do here is we're going to put the recipe in here we're going to say it's sticky so that the recipe things don't get taken out when it's sticky and I need to come into this chest to get the rest of this water essence so I've got plenty of it because I tested it for a change so what you can do is you can put these around here like that okay and when the spread items when I shift click this in put this into here they're going to get distributed evenly around here like that and then when I click put a second bucket in here it's going to fill up the bucket and we're going to get a water bucket out of here so what we're going to do now obviously is take this water bucket put it across here like this and we have to make sure that we don't right click these away so that they're not connecting we're going to put this on here like this and we're going to put into this take this water bucket out of here and we're going to say you know you can guess what i'm going to say we're going to put a white list a water bucket a full water bucket so that's then going to come into here I'll tell you what we'll do when you get rid of this water let's tell you what i want to just prove it so let's just chuck this water away right click it somewhere disappears push that in again so the bucket goes in there then it should end up in here in the top slot actually I want the upper left slot only does that not work oh it's not activated yet is it and so it should come into here in a few seconds like that and then when this has got enough capacity which it hasn't yet it will then take that out so that's the process so the next thing we need is we need to get the from here I need to get the um, out of here I need to get uh, the water so let's get the water out of the water th things out of here fact yeah so what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect some more item ducts I've got four left I think that's exactly the right number so it's going to connect everywhere we don't want it to connect so we'll put one down say let's turn this off first of all uh, deactivate that let's put a pipe down here so that's where it's going to go into that and then let's disconnect that from there to there so it's not going to go across that and we're going to up here we <laughs> see it connects everywhere all the time and we don't want to connect in there we basically want it to come out of here like that so we push it across here and of course it's this time it's not connected to this because it's a fluid duct so now we can come along here put oops, done, done the same thing again haven't I So we're going to put this down here like this and we're going to put into this filter water essence like that oh I want to whitelist it sorry I need to do that 
water essence. And then we can put into here this water essence we've already got. So we shift click those into there and they should just simply distribute themselves around here like that. So it ends up with almost, but not quite 64. And it will fill up the next 64. Let's just activate this now. So this will then start to get more in. It takes a few seconds before it actually click, clicks into place. There we go. So now they're all 64s. So whatever was in here, well, we've got a few left in there actually, 22. So it's been making water essence reasonably well. So that's going into there. The water will come into here and then this will come into here. So what we now need to do is to get out of here. Um, let's put it, in fact, let's put it down because I can't do it. Let's shift click that onto there like that. And now what I was doing is we're putting the end the end of chest like this. I'll just put it on here like that. It'll connect up. And as you can see, is the essence coming out of there automatic with that and serve on it? Okay, fantastic. And as soon as that does that, then the plants start to grow again. And every time that that grows, and it grows fairly fast, it comes out, so we should get some more in, in essence in here like that. And over a period of time, very quickly actually, it all fills up quite nicely. So that is how I've automated that. Sounds complicated, ain't so bad. Just making sure that things don't connect to the wrong places. And now you'll see this is actually not yet filled up. Yeah, I don't know how much has got left to go. I'd like to get some out and we could then prove it. So there's a bucket waiting in here like this. So as soon as the water comes out of there, that bucket should ta get taken out. Ah, there's another problem I've just noticed. Let's move that off there like that. That's better. Things connect, as you said, everywhere to everywhere that shouldn't have been connecting. And normally what I'd do is I'd put it in a servo in here. Oh, I do need to put a servo here. Look, I haven't done that yet. Turn that on. So there we go. So that's emptied out. That's gone away, and hopefully in a second it should come back in again. That's the water, filled it up, and that's getting filled up like that. So we should see this coming through there, it's gone through there, another splash, up it goes. And the next bucket will come in, like that, in a second, there we go, it gets made, goes across there, comes into here, and up it goes again. Nice, huh? that's how that works phew good thing I remember to do the last bit of the details here and in here I don't know what we got seeds quite a few dye seeds now some quite a few inferior in four seeds lots of rubber seeds and water seeds they're all multiplying quite nicely for us which is great next thing I could do with this of course is I could make this bigger and this thing here has um, slots for, I don't know where they are to be honest with you, probably one of these, energy, energy items and seed input. It should have an upgrade. Show working area, always active. It should have an upgrade in here somewhere. I'm not exactly sure where it is. Anyway, never mind. That's, that's done. But I should probably just see if this goes faster now with having connected this in. What have we got in here? Oh, I've got plenty of coal cook. Let's take that out of there. Let's put the coal cook in here. I've got all coal cook in the other place anyway. Let's go and get some iron. Oh, yes, I remember. I haven't shown you one more thing we need to do. Oh, that's empty. Put this away. I'll put it up there. That's where I sort of keep those bits and pieces, isn't it? And we'll put that up there like that. I think that'll do fine for now. Iron. Probably haven't got much iron in here. I don't, normally don't have much iron in here, do I? 41. Tell you what, let's get a stack of iron and put it in from the other side. I'll have a stack of iron here, no problem at all. This one. 
pulverized platinum and I'm going to show you how I got that because it's difficult to get and it took me a few minutes to figure it out so it's well worth passing on so what did I want to do iron okay now what I'm planning to do this is the one of the things we can now automate so I don't know how, yeah, that seems to be progressing. I don't know how fast it goes in comparison to what it was before. But it's, as you can see, the progress is visible. I think before it wasn't really very visible. Is endearing. Now, how do we do that? We needed uh, platinum or shiny metal. So here I've got stacks of this stuff. Let's just take this out of here and get four stacks of this. I've got five stacks of ball on map. So what we can then do is we can then shift these in, into the uh, compactor. Like that, and then we get to this nickel chunk ore. We're going to fill this up and we'll get 64 nickel chunks. Doesn't take too long. It's fairly fast, this is quite nice. Where does that go to? We should end up with exactly 64. Perfect. And then what we do is we have to go and put this into... There's two machines we can put this into. Let's have a look at this then. And let's have a look at the uses of this one. Basically, you can smelt it. Gives you one ingot. Not very good. Or you can use a quartz grindstone. You get maybe 1.9 ingots. Or you can do this grindstone from this one, which gives you... Double chance 85, so that's 1.85. Next one, redstone furnace, is one. Flux anodizers gives us two, that's quite nice. And here, pulverizer has a 10% chance of platinum. That's one way of doing it. Next one along here is the tectonic initiator, which gives you three of those. And then we can go to the induction smelter. So, with some cinnabar, we have a 100% chance of getting plus in the mingots. Oh. You know, have we got any cinnabar? Not actually, we haven't. We've got some rich slag. So, the cinnabar is actually got from redstone, destabilized redstone, or, or this one. Putting that through, there's a 25% chance of, in the pulverizer, of getting cinnabar. Maybe I've got some already. Let's go back again. That wasn't the way I was doing it. So we'll look. Next one along. Again, it's the same thing here with a fighter concentrate, except for you get four ingots of nickel. Generally, you don't need that much nickel. Magna Crucible just melts it down. This one gives us 10% too. The crusher from um, um, immersive engineering. That's, but that's a big machine. Arc furnace gives us some slag and some. That's another one from this one here. Gives us a 15% chance in the crusher from uh, actually additions. So you've got to pick which one you're choosing quite carefully. You get two ingots plus that one. I'm not sure why you've got multiple recipes for this. You can't have. This will give you straightforward two ingots from the smelter. We get a chance of three in this one with the ore crusher, pure stuff. Smelting it again, and this one. So, I reckon the best one of those was the pulverizer, wasn't it? Or the crusher. The crusher gives us 15%. And the pulverizer, because it's tectonic and she gives us 10%. So, we put that in the. I actually was doing it in here, didn't read, didn't realize it. Got all those other recipes as well for some reason or other. So, let's go and shove this lot into here like that and we have a chance now it's actually quite fast this it's a lot faster than the other machines of getting some more pulverized platinum 15% chance we should have seen one or two by now not seen any yet but I don't get any when it gets to 56, I'm going to take it out of here. Because I should have got some by now. Even at 15%. Nope. OK. 
Okay, let's put that into the pulverizer. Pulverizer's the one beside it, isn't it? This one. Well, this one's a lot slower, but. Oh, I'll say a lot slower. This can be speeded up, and a lot as well. I'm pretty sure that was the yeast. I'll double check that now. But I haven't seen it yet. Let's just double check in this chest, by the way. No. We don't see any. And then we're having bad luck, which is possible. Or it doesn't work. I'll just double check the yeast of that. All rides at 10%. And 15% in the crusher. Well, that didn't seem to do anything, did it? We should have got some by then. Oh, we got our first one. Good. Right. So that's how I did it anyway. Now, why do we want that? To make Enderium. Enderium is what I would like to use for the jetpack to make the next layer. So that's us have a look at what we've got to do for Enderium. So, in, I've probably got a few pages of this, haven't I? All those seeds. So, we need Enderium blend. Like this. So, that's lead and pulverized platinum with a bucket of an ender bucket. That's no big deal. We can do that easily enough. What else have we got for recipes? And it's just crushing the same thing. So, we've got to use this crafting recipe. So, we need lead. So, we need nine lead. And that will make four Enderium and a bucket of. So let's get the lead pulverized as well. Nine lead, take one off. That should do for that lot. We've actually got another one, so we'll do 12. Because we've got that, definitely got another one. One too many there. And, and the pearls, we probably need four of those. I think those are the items we need. So let's get this crushed up. And I don't think it matters how we crush it up. We'll put the into the crusher we'll into the crusher this one because that's fairly fast I think. So now we need some buckets of enderium. Now what have we got here? That should be the fluid transposer, and this should be the magnet crucible. Great. So con connections output good. Let's put these four into here. That should smelt up. And this is fairly slow. I need to speed this machine up, definitely. Let's turn that off. I don't want that sending anything out of anywhere at the moment. I want it to come into here. And then we need some buckets. In fact, I should have some buckets. I've got two in here, for example. Let's put those into there. Oh. <laughs> right, click that. Put those into there. They should shift into that. And as you can see, we get all right. We get four. So we need sixteen ender pearls for that lot. Let's go and get the others. It's a quarter of a. It's a quarter of a bucket per ender pearl. So that should be enough. That door's very tight. <laughs> So we should have our first bucket being produced now, which we have good. So we can then go and craft that up. So we should also have enough lead in here now. We've got two more of those, that's good. 12 lead. So let's get that crafted up now. I should have a crafting table downstairs, but there's one just here, that's no big deal. And we're gonna have to come back a couple of times anyway because of the buckets. So we now got four Enderium blend. And I reckon that we need 60, uh, 12 Enderium blend in order to make um, the jetpack or to upgrade the jetpack. So now I can put the other bucket into here again once it comes out because you get your bucket back again. 500. 
What I should do while I'm waiting for this is to make a speed upgrade for this thing. It's got no augmentation on here, so we could actually do that. It's going to take a little bit of time. So let's get that done. Fact. Let me just double check what we need for the after after we've got this one, because what I'm planning to do is to make some Enderium seeds. Because as you've seen, it's actually a f it's actually fairly hard. So we can use Enderium blend with a concentrated hailfire and induction smelter. Is that the only way to do it? Molten Enderium. I don't know what the recipe is for. Well, it's, it's, it's an alloying, isn't it? I oh, guess lead. Platinum resin. Oh, that's the Enderium blend. Okay. I thought I had to add something to the Enderium blend. Nope. Well, we'll do it in there then. In that case, we'll get it smelted up that way to get the ingots that we need. So we need uh, about four. I think we should have plenty of those, actually. I wanted to make the um, hardened upgrade, didn't I? So let's get um, this one. A bronze gear. Okay, that should be no deal. That's maybe we've got a bronze gear in this one. I've got some copper gears, all right, and we've got a lead gear. No, I haven't. So I better make some bronze gears up. So that should do for twelve. That should make about three gears, I think, because we're going to need this all the time. So I've got this smelted into here. I forgot an electrum. Okay, made some electrum before. I'm not sure I can. I think I should be able to do that even in, even in the um, furnace, which would actually be the best place to do it, wouldn't it? But it goes fairly fast in here. Let's just take. No, let's leave it. Let's take those out of there. Put those into here like this. Let's check we've got the gear cast into here. That's running. So we will definitely get those out of there. That should probably finish by now. Yes, it has. Let's get the rest of these into that. We've already got our first bronze gear. I've seen it coming through. Well, there we go. So let's get that thing upgraded. Like that. And then it would need a speed upgrade. called speed let's have a look at augments then yes this looks like what we want and I think it's possibly increases the chance of secondary outputs reception calls increases maximum power usage which one is it for speed <laughs> I can't see it. This has all changed a bit, really. This is another mod that's changed a little bit. It's done specialities. Gear working, that's to make gears, minimalistic. Currency, but we don't want to come out currency at the moment. Saplings. Which is the yield from ores, yes we know about that one. Efficiency. Not to consume flux. Which one is it? Oh! S processing speed, yes. Oh, that's not too difficult. Let's do that. It uses more power. 
at the price of speed. So let's go down. It might not might be too late now. I've probably processed all the ones I wanted to process. We don't use this machine too often, so it doesn't matter that much, does it? So this is this one. So what we need to do is to hit this with the hardened right click this with the hardened upgrade kit. Like that. And then you get the corners changing as you can see. And then we just basically take the speed one and we right click and it doesn't actually oh it does work good. So now we've got the augmentation speed upgrade. So in here we've got our bucket. We should have three buckets worth. So we can then go and craft the rest of these. And I think we can make our first tier five seed. Mm -hmm. I just shift click that into place because that was the first empty slot so it goes like this when you shift click stuff into that and actually that's rather a nice t technique and those tables they work nicely in that respect this doesn't take too long to fill up I'll shift click them both in there as you, as you see fairly quick to do that one let's have a look how much we got another two so that was the same as last time three for the price of 64 I'll have to try that again with the other crucible, but uh, in the other crusher, but just to be absolutely safe. Oh, here we are. So you click that into there and you get these. So we've now got 16 dust. And I think we can't craft with those, just basically we have to turn it into ingots to make the seeds. So let's do that. I think that was a mob. So, I will have to look in the furnace, and yes, I need to go and get some more hellfire ingots. Strange lag. I might have got some in here because I put a whole load of stuff in there last time. 48, fantastic. So we can put that and that, and we should get 16. And in fact, they're going really fast. So four of these will make... A well, that was a nice little crash. <laughs> um, I can't remember what I was doing. I think it was just having a look at the interior ingots to make the seed. Let's make the seed. So now let's look at the uses of this one. We should be able to find a recipe to craft a seed. Here we go. So we need a tier five crafting seed. That one too. We should be able to click that into place. And now we have our first tier five seed. So they reckon the best place to that is to put that into another cloche, isn't it? Garden cloche. Now another tip I got from this time from Malekwa, you make these things a lot cheaper. So this is two iron plates and one copper ingot. So that's half the number of iron plates for this one. And this is two steel plates. And I think the other recipe for these, the recipe for the components, mechanical components, was four. This one. So it's four, so you, are, you save two pieces of iron per or two pieces of steel per. So that's great. Thank you very much for those tips. Everybody else, thank you also for your tips. They're good, really good stuff and really helps me a lot. So, in fact, I think on that note, I'll call it a day. So I'll come back into here and just do, I go to my goodbye place. So until next time, I hope you've all enjoyed this episode. Next time, I should have enough time to go and do the treasure hunt. Keep your fingers crossed. Until then, bye for now.